Quiddy's an excellent player. Quiddy Pay is good. And in in all honesty, one of the things that you really have to look at when you're looking at a defensive end or any defensive lineman for that matter is that burst when that snap that that ability to cl- close very quickly in a short distance. Quiddy Pay has that ability. If you look right here, Quiddy's at the defensive end right here. And they are on a triple. All right, triple base. You got three, three, and then three safeties. So that's a triple base. All right. But in this play, watch what Quiddy does. This is amazing how much space he's able. Because look, the running back is about to get the ball. Quiddy stops and is able to close. Now, generally, this running back will run right along the edge right here. And get right in here and get some extra yards. Maybe even get a first down if he can, you know, burrow through some tackles. Quiddy Pay's ability, his burst from standing still. This is why Quiddy is so dangerous. He can lunge and grab quickly to stop that. First man to him. Because he's able to lunge very quick and close a two or three yard gap in no time flat. That's going to help tremendously in the run game as a pass rusher. You cannot, cannot underestimate how important that is in the NFL. Something that a lot of people want to complain about about Quiddy Pay in Michigan is, you know, his stats. His stats didn't show that much, right? He had six and a half sacks during his junior season. He only had like two during his senior, and they're like, well, his stats, his production, it, it doesn't really show that he's an elite guy. But what stats don't show you is what he has to deal with on a constant basis from teams, okay? Quiddy Pay was the only real decent player in that front seven for Michigan, all right? So teams legitimately, consistently, keep an eye here, consistently double and triple team Quiddy Pay all the time during his time in Michigan. Anytime he's out there, he gets double and triple teamed. When he's single, single teamed, here he is again, same end. Another another situation where he's double or triple teamed. Bam, bam. Even taking him low and high at the same time. See, in the NFL, that's not legal. That's a penalty. But that's what you get. Quiddy Pay's not going to have that problem in the, in the NFL. He's not going to get hit high and low at the same time. He's not going to have to deal with double teams nearly as much. Not when you got DeForest Buckner beside you. And Grover Stewart beside him, he's going to get a lot of one-on-ones. And that is going to increase his production, even though it's an increase in talent going from college to the pros. Because I don't care how good you are. If you go from double teams almost every play to single team, your production is going up. Athletic ability. I mean athletic ability. Wow. Pays up here, right? Right here, defensive end, as normal. You're going to have the blocker come in, go low, try to take him out low. Watch what Quiddy Pay does here to make this play on the running back. Oh, my goodness. This ball is snapped. As he goes low, he holds his own, keeps his hands out, Right there, gets his hands on him, knowing that the blocker is going low, trying to take his legs out from underneath of him. He pushes him. First off, that's incredible power where the blocker is trying to dive at your legs. So his whole body, you see how his leg is all bent, his back is bent, his arms are right there, pushes the guy straight to the ground rather than allowing the body into his legs so that he's able to Stop, stay up, leap over. Did you see the leap that he did? Look at that. Oh my goodness. The leap that he pulled right there is ridiculous. 
Hold on. Let's watch that again. Slow motion. Watch him push him straight to the ground and then leap over the guy. Right? Quarterback's got the ball. Oh, he's got him. Bam. What a play by Quiddy Pay. That is good technique to shed the block down low and then amazing athleticism to get over the blocker a couple yards away and make the tackle that was not running at him, right? Before the linebackers and the defensive tackles and the other guys got to him, Quiddy Pay got to him. Wow. What a play. Unrelenting motor. That's what you're getting with Quiddy Pay. Every play, every single play that I have noticed, no matter whether Quiddy's down here or like he is here and up on this side of the line, they always go to the opposite direction, whether they run or pass it. They do not go towards Quiddy Pay, yet he still somehow comes up with tackles and sacks. Why is that? Because the guy don't quit. Watch this play right here. This is a pass play. Watch Quiddy. This is a big... This is huge. I mean, this says so much for the guy. He takes off, snap, bam. He's hit. He, he got a late hit right here, late snap. Takes off. Now, look where he's at. He's all the way back here, okay? All the way back here. That's like, what? 12 yards at least away from the play. A lot of players would be like, well, that's out of my range. I can't do nothing about that. He leaves the scene for just a moment, and then all of a sudden, watch out of nowhere. Yeah, boom. That's Quiddy Pay, my guy. Yeah. Just a rocket out of nowhere. The guy got up to speed and leveled the guy. Even though the play was 12, 13 yards away from him, he bursts out of nowhere and makes the play. Unrelenting motor. Quiddy Pay's got a nice little move on the inside. Uh, when he does a speed rush on the outside, he doesn't do it traditionally. Not always. Generally, you take off and you run to the outside left side, whichever side, like right now, being that he's up here. He's going to be right up against him. And he's just going to go head on. Head on with the block. Rather than try to run around him. He's going to go head on with the block. But watch how he uses his right arm to completely demolish the outside arm of the blocker. And because he does this, Watch how we get this here started. This is just, this is a great move by Pay here. There's the contact. These two guys are locked in, right? Now watch his outside arm. You'll see it when he when when he when his shoulder shudders. He just rips the outside arm of that block. And what does that do? That completely destroys the outside part of this block. Now he can get that outside edge. Now he's got that outside edge. Now he can put that left shoulder right in the chest of the blocker. And once he has that, he's got position. Then he just leans in and runs along the outside edge. Bam. He's got him all day right here. All day. Boosh. Now, that is a sack. They're giving him half a sack because number two came in uh, because he forced him to run up. But that is a beautiful, beautiful pass rush move by Quiddy Pay. Just to rip the arm, even though it looks like it's going to be a power rush, he changed it up to a speed rush on the outside, setting the left tackle up for failure. Quiddy Pay is dangerous. His athletic ability and his ability to start, stop, change directions, things of that nature. It's just the stuff that you can't teach, right? The stuff you can't teach is elite. Even for the NFL, it's elite. Watch Quiddy Pay set up 
This ain't even a real football move, okay? This is just using your athleticism, right? This is not like using your arms or your body to spin or to chop or a swim. Or, no, this is just using your athleticism and playing mind games with the tackle. And against Minnesota, this left tackle right here is just left stunned. I mean stunned at Quiddy Pay's ability to change directions and and burst past him. Watch as he just gives gives this left tackle just a, a little nudge of I might go inside. Er, right? I might go inside. And that leaves him not quite flat footed, but unsure. Unsure do I do do I try to block inside? Do I try to block outside? Yeah, you can't you can't be unsure against Quiddy. You can't. Why? Because Quiddy's gonna go right outside. That's how quick Quiddy Pay is. That's how I mean he's basically untouched. He barely put a hand on Quiddy Pay. And he's past that tackle. And the quarterback's like, I gotta get rid of the football. I gotta throw this sucker. I don't want to be demolished. Alright. Quiddy Pay is just scary good. I mean scary good when it comes to his just athletic ability. So, that's, once he works on getting some uh, pass moves down, he's going to be a bad, bad man. Now, as I said before, no one ever runs the ball towards Quiddy Pay. There's a reason for that. He's just an athletic freak, right? And on this play, he shows it again. Now, they're going to run the football, right? They're going to run this football this way. Minnesota is going to hand the football off. He's going to take off this way. Quiddy Pay's way up here. Way up here. Now, they're not going to block him because the running the, the running back's going in a different direction than he's going. But they're going to make him go around the line to get to him. That's generally what happens. And you see that a lot in the NFL as well. But what they're not taking into consideration is he's got too much speed. He's got too much get off on the snap. And he's just an athletic freak. Let's watch this play as it unfolds. Oh my goodness. First off, like I said, they don't block him. But he's got to get around all these guys. Watch how quickly he's back here. In the handoff, he's right here. Now, the running back slips just a little bit right there. You see that. But it's too late because look where Quiddy pays at. He's already on top of him. As he slipped, Quiddy's already on top of him. It didn't matter if he was standing up or, or falling down. Bam. Tackle for loss. Does not matter. Does not matter if he is standing up or not. Because Pay got around that edge, that corner, so fast. Great bend. Great agility to get around the corner. Great pursuit. Awareness that the ball was handed off to the running back. And a tackle for loss, even though the running game never goes in his direction. One thing I did notice is he doesn't have a whole lot of pass rush moves. Athletic freak. Stuff that you cannot teach anyone. You can't teach speed, right? You can't teach that that burst off the line because that's all that that muscle twitch in your legs that is just instinctual. Pay's got all that. He's got that great bend. He's got great closing speed and quickness and agility to get around corners and edges he's got all these things that cannot be taught what he's lacking is the stuff that can be taught pass rush moves you know your stiff arms your swim move your chops your spins whatever great thing about the Indianapolis Colts we got a guy like that Robert Mathis and other great defensive line coaches that will teach him different pass rush moves to make him even more dangerous, especially if he's sitting beside Grover Stewart or DeForest Buckner. He's going to be dangerous. He's already a stud against the run. And he's dangerous on an outside pass rush. On a speed rush. Or a bull rush. But once he gets those other moves down, 
He's going to be scary good. Scary good. I want to thank everybody for watching my film room on the new Indianapolis Colts defensive end pass rusher out of Michigan, Quiddy Pay. Shout out to my boy Quiddy. Shout out to my boy Robert Mathis. Don't forget, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tag the notification bell and make sure you turn on all notifications because we know how YouTube is. You won't get notified unless you have all notifications on. Don't forget to check out my description of this video for my Patreon. It's only $5 a month for all of my content plus special content only for Patreon uh, supporters. And then also there is a link in the description as well for my merch shop. And until next time, have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.